Hi guys, how's it going? So today's video um, is not going to be a strictly yoga video, uh, but it's something that's affected me for many, many, many years. Um, and that is myofascial pain syndrome. Uh, so <laughs> if anybody, any of you have suffered from this, you will know my pain um, with this condition. Um, so for anybody who doesn't know what myofascial pain syndrome is, um, the way it was described to me by uh, experts was that the muscle, for me, it's the shoulder going into the neck, the muscles there in that area, they contract involuntarily, so they contract when they shouldn't be contracting, causing the muscle to become really hard, um, stopping blood flow really to the area as well, and that in turn causes pain, basically pain in the shoulder going up for me, up the neck, and into my left sort of temple, resulting in a headache. Um, it's not a, like a really horrendous headache, it's not a migraine, it's just there and it's annoying. <laughs> so I suffered with this condition for many, many, many years. Um, I've done so much research and reading up about this condition. Um, I've been through treatments with it. So um, many years ago, I was referred to a specialist at the hospital, pain management consultant, um, and he sort of took me down the alternative therapies route, which I was 100% happy to try, always try alternative things um, first. Um, so the things we tried were massage, acupuncture, electroacupuncture, and in the end, Botox injections into the area. So all of those things were supposed to um, try and relax the area, um, yeah, and some of them sort of pressing on certain trigger points within the muscles as well, and that's supposed to help to relax the muscle. Um, none of those really worked. They had sort of very temporary effects, which was great, you know, one or two days, three days, but then it came back. Um, so in the end, I just thought, okay, I'll just stop, give up. <laughs> Because um, everything I'd read as well online was um, if you've had, if you've got myofascial, myofascial pain syndrome, um, you'll never get rid of it. It's always going to be there. So it's just finding ways to manage it. So for me, um, I found some ways to manage it for myself. Um, and honestly, I literally have hardly any pain ever now. Um, and if I do feel any pain coming on, I know how to manage it and I know how to keep it at bay, um, which is absolutely phenomenal for me. Um, so, three things that are really helping me at the moment with my myofascial pain syndrome are, number one, magnesium glycinate. So I take two capsules of magnesium glycinate every day. I take it with my evening meal um, and it just helps to relax the muscle Gives you a better night's sleep as well, which is always good in my book. Um, so you've got to take it for quite a while, so quite a few months I'd say, to really sort of get the full effects of it, to really get it to work, I don't know, work properly in the body I guess, for the body to get used to what it should be doing with it, and I don't know. For me that's how long it took, um, which gave me some relief, and especially at night time, I could actually sleep, because a lot used to happen with me at night time, I used to wake up throughout the night, just with pain and then I couldn't go back to sleep afterwards and it was just, it was horrible. You wake up tired, it's not fun for anybody. <laughs> so that was the first thing I tried, that helped. The next thing is to always keep the area warm. So for me it's my shoulder, so I make sure I keep my shoulder warm. Um, in the winter I wear roll necks, scarves. Um, <laughs> in summer if it's just a little bit chilly I'll wear a cardigan. Make sure always the area is always covered. At night time I keep it covered, make sure it's not out to the sort of cold room at night. Um, so that's the second thing. Third thing for me was to move the area. So a lot of reading that I did, a lot of people were saying you need to stretch the area, so make sure you stretch the muscle out. For me that just didn't work. I stretched it and I would actually get the pain from stretching, which just, that was no, 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 no for me. Um, but for me, actually exercising the muscle actually helps it because you get it working when you want it to work rather than it just contracting when you don't want it to work. And the way I do that, so I combine warmth with exercising it and it does the trick. So the way I do it is 
I do it in the shower, so I have a shower twice a day, morning and evening, and um, when I'm in the shower, I put the shower really hot, and I, put, I let it sort of just run over the shoulder area, the back of the neck, just for a little bit, and then these are the two things that I do. I basically take my head back, because that seems to help as well, no idea why, <laughs> maybe it helps to untrap something, I don't know, but I take my head back as far as it'll go, and then I'll start exercising the area. So I do a shoulder rolls. So I do five backwards, five forwards, and then five backwards again. And then I release everything, run some hot water over it again. So just let the shower run over it for a little bit again, get the area nice and warm again, relax those muscles. Then I take the head back, do my rolls, backwards, forwards, backwards, bring the head back again and then again just warm the area up so we're warming the area we're relaxing the muscle but then we're working the muscle so we're teaching the muscle that to just contract when we want to <laughs> when we want it to contract not when it wants to contract itself um, and again just keep you know try and do that for a sort of length of time it might not work straight away but just keep doing it um, for me it was pretty instant that I could feel um, the effects of it um, and now, using those three things, I can keep my myofascial pain syndrome at bay. And I literally hardly ever, I only can't even remember the last time I had a headache from the pain, from the, um, the condition. Um, and even when I sort of feel it coming on, I can do those things. Even if I'm out, you know, I'm not in the shower, I'm out or I'm at home or passenger seat in the car or whatever. <laughs> I'll just do those exercises, roll them forward, roll them backwards, and it just stops it in its tracks. So for me, yeah, I'm so grateful that I found these three things that really help with mine. Um, so that's magnesium glycinate, keeping the area warm, and then exercising the muscle regularly so that it contracts when you want it to contract. <laughs> Um, so I hope this video has been helpful to someone if you suffer from myofascial pain syndrome. I hear you, I know what it's like, it's awful, um, but there are ways that you can keep it at bay and those three things have helped me. So I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.